take the stage and tell us about life in Carrington. So, good afternoon. Um, I was invited to speak today, and then I got a little confused after they gave me a cap and gown of program, and they know my name, but I must say it's uh, the largest turnout I've ever had for an A and B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the right building here. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for attending the Carrington College RN3 2022 graduation. First off, I'd like to give out a few thank yous, starting with my mom and dad, who couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, but they are watching online, I hope, so hey guys, I'm finally on TV. <laughs> my mother was my inspiration to become a nurse. She worked for a plastic surgeon as a recovering nurse and always gave me a push when life began to shove, so I owe her this accomplishment. My dad taught me that nothing good comes easy. This program was definitely not easy. He's the smartest man I know, and he has such a passion for finishing what it started and finishing strong. Thank you for passing that on to me, Dad. I love you. I'd also like to thank my wife, Allison, who had to deal with a lot of my shenanigans uh, throughout this program. <laughs> she is my supportive rock star, and I couldn't have done it without her love. Lastly, I'd like to give thanks to God for giving me this opportunity and for the strength of providing me to complete this program. So my question to you all is, what do you think of when you hear the words registered nurse? Some people think of words or phrases like respectable, makes good money, lifesaver, tough job. It's not that those aren't accurate, but that just explains the profession. For me, it's very different. After going through this program, I realized that most people often overlook the individual themselves and focus on the duties and the responsibilities that nurses carry out at work. When I hear registered nurse, I think of words like dedication, perseverance, resilience, compassion, and lastly, stubbornness. It's the good kind of stubbornness, which is the proverbial water mixed with our soil of knowledge that cultivates and grows into what we call nursing confidence, which, mind you, it never, ever stops growing. As I've stated, the words I mentioned are not words that describe our profession, but instead describe who we are as nurses, as people. They are the very essence of us. They are a part of our character. As I stand here today, I can easily say that those words are characteristics that I have in common with every student on this stage and every nurse in this building. Now that I am an RN school graduate, I hope and pray that no one ever says to me, oh, pff, nursing school isn't that hard. My cousin's stepsister's third aunt's best friend's mom did it, and she said it was easy. <laughs> I'm fully prepared to roundhouse that person in the face. <laughs> but I will also be the one reviving that person, making sure that I start with uh, my ABCs. This program was rigorous. It brought on endless hours of study, constant stress concerning assignments, and being prepared enough for exams, crying before and after exams, regardless of whether we passed or not. The worst was feeling like our brains were beyond our mental capacity, exploding from the weekly bolus of information we had to absorb. For all the non-medical folk, bolus means a single dose of medication given all at once. It's one of the many terms that we learned throughout uh, school, along with SVT, which is supraventricular tachycardia, HCTZ, which is a medication called hydrochlorothiazide, and SOB. I'm not calling anybody a son of a biscuit. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> along with learning all of these words and terms, we also seem to have forgotten other words and terms like sleep, free time, relaxation, stress-free, all joking aside, as hard as nursing school was, I had the best time of my life, mainly due to my amazing classmates. Love you guys. <laughs> what I believe makes our class such a unique and special class is the fact that we truly are a tight-knit group. We were definitely the most fun class, with an endless supply of laughs, sarcasm, and just the right amount of rowdy. 
We learned to rely on each other, and we always had each other's backs. In this cohort, everyone was willing to help anyone who asked. And I can't think of a time where someone asked for help and was denied that. We did not only rely on each other, we relied on our professors. Professors, when I say this, it comes from the bottom of our hearts collectively. Thank you. Thank you for challenging us. RN school was the polar opposite of easy, and I know that at the time we didn't feel it or see it or even realize it, but while climbing the mountain that is the RN program, you as our leaders had us held and tethered to your waist, guiding us with an unbreakable rope the whole time so that we wouldn't be left behind. So quickly here, if I could ask everybody in the off, uh, audience to please stand and give a round of applause to our wonderful professors. Please do so. She is considered the mom of our class. Please show gratitude for our other student council member, Samantha Thomas. Nurses graduating today. Guys, howdy. never let anyone, including an RN, belittle you. You hold the title of a nurse and have earned it just as much as any of us. You are a crucial and an important role in the world of medicine, and we work for the same common goal. You have my respect. In closing, a quote from our mother of nursing, Florence Nightingale, reads, I am of certain convinced that the greatest heroes are those who do their duty in the daily grind of domestic affairs whilst the world whirls as a maddening cradle. Guys, classmates, we are all heroes in a world of madness, and I am so proud of all of you that you are staring this madness in the face with a fearless smile I'm honored to share those words with you, and I'm blessed to share those words with all of you wonderful supporters of our class. Thank you very much, and God bless you. <laughs> 